Good afternoon. A deputy involved shooting may have ended the Amanda Wiley homicide investigation. The man charged with her death died last night after a shootout with officers. So, what led police to that suspect? News 13's Alex Goldsmith is live at the sheriff's office headquarters in downtown Albuquerque with more. Diane Diana, Bernalillo County Sheriff's detective, uh, detectives had been looking for 18 year old Amanda Wiley's murderer since her body was found in a ditch in late April. Police had also been looking for a light blue minivan seen leaving the scene. Detectives have been focusing on one driven often by 33 year old convicted felon Jerry McDonald. According to a criminal complaint, McDonald's girlfriend, Stephanie Snyder, told police McDonald and an accomplice had beaten Amanda Wiley to try and find out where drugs were and ultimately shot her when she wouldn't tell. In early June, police found a shell casing and a latex glove in the driver's seat while searching the van at McDonald's home. On Monday, detectives learned that shell casing matched one found at the scene of Wiley's murder. They got an arrest warrant for McDonald and found him last night around 7, riding in the same minivan driven by his girlfriend. Deputies tried to pull the minivan over, but it took off. Police say McDonald shot at them, and deputies returned fire. The minivan crashed near a Trisco and Bridge, and the gunfight continued. McDonald was killed, although police say it's unclear whether it was a deputy who, sh who shot him or if he shot himself. We're expecting Bernalillo County to release more information about this case at a press conference at 2 p.m. We'll have that information for you on KRQE News 13 at 4 and 5.30. Back to you. All right. Thank you, Alex. Stephanie Snyder is charged with harboring a fugitive.